like connect this to the side or something make it look real clean when you're doing this something like that That looks really nice, so you see. But lucky, this doesn't have to be white. This is all preference. I'm just showing you how I did this one here that I'm going to be for a two-clip edit that I will be uploading soon. But this is a a clip found in one of Mistrust's videos. You can go to his channel and check it out. It's at like eight seconds in this was requested by uh, one of my subscribers but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and rename these real quick this will be info box large LG for large and then rename info box SM this will be run uh, connection from S from LG to SM. And this could be like connection from border to LG. And there, there you go. Now that everything's right, let's uh, I'm gonna add how about I add a new text layer in here. And this text will say something. I'm gonna have it say, uh, "Targets acquired." And then I'm going to drag that up into here, like so. And then I'm going to have another text. It'll be right there. It's going to say five. I'm going to drag it right here to make it a little more even. I'm going to need to bring it down a little right there. And then right here I'm going to say uh, um, I'm going to say I'm going to go ahead and go with engage. I'm going to drag this into the center of that. And there you go, it's not in the center. Right about there. Engage. And then you can add you can add other stuff to this, but this is this is all I'm gonna do to it for now. Then I'm going to add this into my comp. It's going to be see through, just as just like this. Now I'm going to go to the frame where it starts Twixter and I'm going to drag the beginning of this into it and then the frame where the Twixter ends and I'm going to time remap this so that that is where this ends. Right here is where I want it to end. So. right there okay now what I'm going to do is kind of motion track it to the scope and how I would do this is I would go to scale and position go to here and I want it I'm gonna go ahead and click both of these I want it fairly small So I'm going to drag it down here over the scope because it looks really neat when it's over the scope like that. And then I'm going to go to the end. My oh, got a spinny ball of death there. You oh, I did not trim this there. Now here and then I will go sorry I'm having a few fails like I said this is going to be a similar uh, decent decently long 
tutorial, so bear with me. We are almost done. So, and right here, I want it to scale up to 100%, right in the center of the scope, like so. And it's got this cool little comes up with the scope kind of thing, but it doesn't follow the center of the scope th fully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it over the scope, like so. So I'll do this little dip, and then it comes back up. I'm going to drag this over. And there it is. Then, bam, sucker. All right. Now I'm going to make both of these. Sorry about that. I uh, didn't realize that if I pushed F9, it wouldn't easy ease. It would do this so kind of like a uh, uh, pause. I think it paused my capture here. It's just 25 minutes long, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start to end it now. But this is pretty much it, and it tracks along with it and looks really neat. And then with color correction over it, you get that sexy looking. Oh my god, that looks... Uh, uh. Okay, now real quickly, what I forgot to show you is what I did to these. If you go to your effects and presets... <laughs> I didn't tell you about the text either. Like if your font, you would want to choose a font that would look good in a kind of like in a HUD. Like if you would see on a movie where the HUD would pop up in front of someone's face, you'd see like this computery like text. It's it's kind of what you would want in your in your HUD. So what you want to type in your effects and presets is decoder. And you get this. And you want to go to targets acquired. Tap U for I failed. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, Control Z. You want to go to the beginning. Then put the decoder on it. Then you want to click U. And it's not over in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of it. 100%. Go to the end of that. Delete that one. Come here. And I want it. To, I want it to pop up sooner than that. So at about one second, I'm have this pop up there and it kind of like tops in looks really cool you can do that to the number five too so it stopped here so just drag this in here then you can do what I did and you can do that go back to this one go forward I'm gonna go 30 here and then push this at a hundred and then you can do the same for engage. And you can have engage like blinking too. Like after the target's thing, it'd be like beep, 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 and the engage could blink. And that is pretty much it. That is how you would make a HUD in Adobe After Effects. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And this is. I like this. It looks really good in hardcore edits. So this is going to be a hardcore tutorial. I didn't mention that, but that is what this is. I hope you enjoyed this Hardcore Tutorials episode number 4. I am Mitch, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Alright guys, thank y'all for watching my video. Uh, If it y'all had time or anything, it'd be nice if y'all could come by my Facebook channel and check me out. I post on here every now and then, and you can request videos and tutorials, and pretty much interact with me, and... That would be really cool, because I would like to interact with my subscribers. But uh, thank you all, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.